Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video, I want to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and why it instantly became my daily driver the moment it was released. So I do have extensive experience using Apple products such as the iPhone. I even have an Apple TV. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a MacBook right here, which is one of my dedicated laptops. And of course, I have uh, Apple Watch, iPads, all of those stuff, I have them. Uh, I also have experience using, obviously, the Samsung uh, products. And of course, even HTC products, LG uh, products. And of course, the Google Pixel 2 XL has been one of my uh, dedicated secondary daily drivers that I use in the background that you guys don't see. So right now, uh, my daily driver is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys why it is my daily driver. What are the features that I enjoy on the Note 9 that did not exist on the S9 Plus uh, or the Note 8 that was also my daily driver until the S9 Plus came out. So here's the Note 8. I was using this last year extensively. Uh, then when the S9 Plus came out, I started using the S9 Plus because it had stereo speakers and I watch videos and news all the time on my smartphone uh, when I'm having breakfast and I like to have a nice, a loud and rich sound as I'm listening to news or watching any video. So that was lacking on the Note 8. It did not have stereo speakers even though it, it has basically everything else uh, that the S9 Plus has. But then the S9 Plus had the stereo speakers, of course a couple other improvements, and then I switched to this guy. And then what happened was I started to miss the S Pen. Okay, so on the Note 8, I use the S Pen a lot uh, to sketch, to write, to navigate, and of course I use the software features of the S Pen uh, that help me with some productivity uh, uh, functions. So the Note 9 was a godsend. It is a combination of the Note 8 and the S9 Plus, and it has basically everything. And of course, it is one of the most feature-rich smartphones on the market today. Factually speaking, there really is no other smartphone uh, that you're going to find that has this many features packed into this product. So let me tell you the very first thing that I really enjoy on the Note 9. Of course, these were things I was also enjoying on the S9 Plus and the Note 8. And of course, that's that large, beautiful, gorgeous screen on which I love to watch videos. Uh, not only is the screen such high quality, uh, it is now even larger, it's 6.4 inches. And on top of that, we have stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos sound. So when you combine an amazing screen, stereo speakers, and Dolby Atmos, even though when I say Dolby Atmos, it doesn't mean that you're getting surround sound like you would get on a dedicated speakers, uh, but it still uh, richens the sound. So we have those three things, the screen, the stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos, when you combine them all together, you're getting a really nice multimedia smartphone to watch videos on, okay? And I'm talking about without headphones. So in the morning when I'm having breakfast, I just put the Note, uh, Note 9 in front of me and I just listen to news, uh, watch some videos from other YouTubers and just get up to date with what's going on on what interests me. So that's one reason. It's a, it's a really nice multimedia rich smartphone and it's got all the right features uh, to deliver you that experience. Another thing with the large screen, uh, I do use uh, split screen multitasking a lot and it's gonna sound funny but I use it as I'm driving. So what I do is I do a split screen. On the top screen I have the Maps application and on the bottom screen I've got the YouTube application running. So what I can do is I can listen to any music on YouTube. Now let, let's be clear, I don't watch videos while I'm driving, but I do listen to music. So on YouTube, you can find any music you want. So I do a split screen multitasking. I listen to music on YouTube at the bottom or the top, and then I listen to the, act, I'm sorry, I get directions uh, from the Maps application. Uh, those, so that's a really good um, uh, way to multitask and use that large screen because I want to be able to see the map completely. And of course, again, with the large screen, even when I'm doing multitasking in the house, uh, maybe I'm using calculator at the bottom and something else on the top, doing some mathematics, uh, it's very easy to see everything nice and clearly on one large screen as you are multitasking. 
So that's another benefit of that large screen. And of course, moving on, uh, the S Pen. Okay, now the S Pen has even more features. Uh, previously on the Note 8, on the Note 8 right here, uh, I was able to use the S Pen to navigate my phone, uh, use the Air Command menu uh, to take screenshots in a very specific way uh, that I can then share with my friends. And also now you have the S Pen that has a Bluetooth functionality that allows you to take photos remotely using the button on the S Pen. So in the past, I've been using voice commands. So basically, if you launch the camera on your smartphone, you can say smile or cheese, and the smartphone takes a photo from a distance. Uh, sometimes it didn't hear what I was saying because there was too much noise in the environment, but I was using remote shooting to take photos of myself from a distance on a tripod. So now what I can do is I can simply take that S Pen and just tap that button and it takes a photo. It's very convenient. So that's the new S Pen remote control functionality. I can also use the S Pen to control music. So I can play, pause, and go to the next track using the S Pen, even when the phone is sitting over there at a distance. So there's other uh, functions as well. I'll drop a link to a video down below that shows you everything you can do with the remote control aspect of the S Pen. But on top of that remote control, it still retains all the other features of the S Pen. Uh, the ability to write precisely, uh, the ability to navigate the smartphone, and of course the ability to use the Air Command menu. So S Pen tool has improved on the Note 9 and that's simply an extra benefit for me. Now one more thing that really, really uh, interests me with the Note 9 is the large 4000 milliamp hour battery. So the Note 8 and the S9 Plus do have good battery life. They do last you a full day. Uh, if you're doing medium to heavy use. Uh, but with the Note 9, I can just go nuts. I can use maps uh, for a couple hours. I can watch videos for a couple hours. I can even play games for a couple hours and I'm still gonna have battery left for the rest of the day. So with heavy use, uh, I, this phone is gonna last me all day. Only if I go truly nuts, as in I'm just continuously playing a game, the battery might die in, in nine hours or something. But uh, on, on, on most occasions, I've been using this for a couple months now, uh, the battery does last me all day, and at the end of the day, it's not even at 20%, it's at like 35%, 30%, so that's great benefit for me. I don't have to worry about charging, even though charging is not a big deal, because I do have chargers laying everywhere, in the car, in the house, wireless chargers everywhere. It's still nice to be able to just run the phone and not worry about charging at all, especially when you're outdoors. So that's the new large 4,000 milliamp hour battery, another benefit of the Note 9, and the reason it is my daily driver now. And of course, there's the uh, things that people just forget. Again, the phone is a really pretty phone, okay? It's got a nice, gorgeous design. Uh, it's nice to have something in your hand that just looks gorgeous, okay? So that large and tall display, uh, the curved edges, just a clean design is perfect. And of course, I like the fact that on the rear, they finally uh, centered that fingerprint sensor. I am not happy with the Note 8's uh, fingerprint sensor location that's on the side of the camera, all the way on the top, hard to reach with your finger. Now it's at the bottom of the camera, uh, still a little bit too high, but much easier to reach. And also you can distinguish the fingerprint sensor from the actual camera. So you don't accidentally smudge the camera lens while you're trying to unlock your phone with your fingerprint. So that's another thing uh, that I really like. But those are the highlights, okay? The large screen, the multimedia experience, the S Pen, uh, let's just say the improved S Pen, the 4,000 milliamp hour battery, the improved battery, and of course some of the uh, design changes. Uh, beyond that, the Note 9 is still a Note 9. It's still a superior phone. It's got the best specs on the market. It's a flagship smartphone. There's a couple things I don't like about the uh, Note series in general, actually the Samsung phones in general, that's been recently implemented. And that's things like the AR emoji. I think those things are dumb. Uh, it's something I never use. You guys may use it. I'm not gonna judge you, but I do not use these things. Uh, I think they're stupid. I think it's a copy of what Apple was doing with their uh, face emojis, which are way superior, by the way. So if you, if you try to play with the face emojis of the iPhones, you're gonna see that they're much more high quality uh, than the ones in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So AR emojis, 
are the kind of things that do not appeal to me in the Note 9, and I don't mind saying that. It's a feature that if it just disappears, I'm, I'm just not going to care. But uh, beyond that, other software features on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 are amazing. It's one of the most customizable, feature-rich smartphones you can get on the market on the software side. Uh, so that's, that's why I make so many videos about what the things you can do with your Note 9 because I want you guys to know about it too. But that's basically it. I want you guys to let me know what is your daily driver. Is it the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, the iPhone, an HTC phone, LG, or maybe Google Pixel 2 XL? And you can let me know why. Uh, you can also let me know whether or not you think the Note 9 is better than what you have. Just give me some details. Let me read your thoughts on these matters. And uh, of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. And of course, some of you guys may be wondering why I am wearing glasses. And I'll let you know right now, the reason I'm wearing the sunglasses is because the glare from that light is absolutely blinding. So I have to put these on. I've seen this from other YouTubers uh, that have done this and it really works. Anyway guys, uh, have a fantastic day for now and do not forget to drop the comments down below. All right.